Where were you born? I was born in a township called Mbali, which is in Pretamarisburg, which is in KwaZulu Natal. And yeah, that's where I was born in a hospital called Edendale. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Pretoria. I moved here in 2011. Yeah, I was almost 21 years old when I moved here in 2011, and I love it here. Are you in a relationship? <laughs> I am married to the man behind the camera. That's me. <laughs> His name is Siaba Makaba, and we have been married for four years. We got married in 2017 on the 14th of January, and we've been together for... Do you remember how long? I think plus a year from that. <laughs> no! Plus two years. Yeah. Yes. Almost two years. So we've been together for almost seven years. Uh, do you have siblings? Yes. I have a twin sister named Toby Lemasondo. Um, we have a little brother called Mo. That's our little baby brother, and we love him so much. And what was your favorite book growing up? So my favorite book growing up was called The Diary of a Serial Killer. It was the first time I've ever seen a book written in like a diary form. Usually books are not written like that. So I really liked it. And I liked, I liked being able to, to hear like an honest, um, depiction of somebody's feelings and, and thoughts. I really liked feeling like I am like be like behind the scenes of the inner workings of this person. But it wasn't scary at all. It's either it wasn't it, it's either it wasn't scary or there's something a little bit wrong with me. <laughs> but yeah that was my favorite book. And I also read um, Tom Sawyer which I really liked. I also read The Hunchback of Not is not it not dumb. Yeah. I tried to get into Nancy Drew, but I, I couldn't really. I was I was not that keen, but uh, I have a cousin who was very much into into that. So yeah, my sister, myself, and our cousin, we spent a lot of time in the library during high school. That was like our hangout place. We used to eat lunch there. We spent a lot of time there, even after school. Um, we were close with the English teacher, so yeah, it was really fun. Maybe I should write like a story or write a book about teenagers who, who spend a lot of time in the library or something. Yes. What's your favorite drink? My favorite drink is Coke. Yes, I love Coke. Yeah. I thought you were going to mention your Starbucks. Oh yeah, well, I like Coke and I also love coffee my my drink that i get at starbucks is the white mocha i get it almost every single time i go there what's your favorite things to do during the weekend during the weekend just anything that has to be done i guess i'll have to do and also yeah like fun things like going to starbucks Usually we're able to go um, during the weekends. But anything that has to be done, I'll do. And yeah, just to rest, chores, of course, watching Netflix, going to church on Sundays, that's very important. I go to, we go to uh, New Nation Ministries. Right now we're not able to go because of the lockdown. But hopefully we're gonna be open soon. What's your favorite item of clothing? I have these blazers that I bought from Zara. I think when was it two years ago? Did I, yeah, I bought them during the, yeah. the lockdown. Yeah, I'll put pictures of them on the screen. Um, yeah, I like them because I wanted to get uh, items that I could wear like over and over and over and have them still kind of maintain a quality. And I don't have to keep buying the same uh, jacket again. So I, I like them, I like them. Yeah, I like the jacket you wear. You like this jacket? You like this jacket? <laughs> it's nice, it's 
What's the comfy. jacket, Majala? It's it's, comfy. Yeah, it's very comfy and warm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where do you want to travel? I'm actually not into traveling. I think there are places that I would like to go, like Cape Town, Paris, New York. But even if I don't go, I think I would still be fine. It would be fun, it would be a great experience to travel. But I'm not someone who's crazy about about traveling. Are you? Yeah, I feel like you're more outgoing than me. Yeah, but... But you're not... I have my moments. You have your moments. <laughs> but that's something we're only going to think about uh, later on in life anyway. So yeah, yeah. Maybe my thoughts will be different tomorrow. Maybe. maybe. Would you rather live in the country or in the city? I know that's a good question. I'd rather live in the city. I like city life. Yeah, I like being close to like close to places that you need to go, like close to shops, close to parks, close to work, you know. I think that's really nice. But I would like like later on in life to live somewhere that's um like a little bit in the outskirts, yeah, but but still have close enough access to like the city. But I like I like city living. City living. Yeah. yeah. Tower is the best. Yeah. <laughs> but when we were when we were kids, we went to visit relatives who live like in Mackay. Oh. Yeah, I remember it's quite peaceful there. It's very peaceful yeah. and green. The air just smells and feels different. Yeah, it's nice. I think it's nice to, to visit there. Yeah, it's nice to visit. There. Yeah, yeah. Not to, not to, stay. not to stay. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> if you learned a skill, what would it be? I want to learn the keyboard. That's like number one. Yes. And my husband is a music maestro. He's going to teach me how to play the keyboard. Yes. I want to learn how to bake. I'm going to bake my own cake for my birthday, so yes. hopefully that will go well. I will be the taster. Yeah, but I won't do it like from scratch. I'll probably use a mix. I'll cheat a bit. Mm. Baby steps. Baby steps. What are you most thankful for? I'm most thankful for the life that God has given me for being alive, especially with everything that's been going on with COVID and um, I'm just really grateful that God has kept me alive and my family and my friends. I'm grateful for my marriage and my husband. I'm grateful for my church, my friends. I met all of my best friends from church. My husband, I met him there. I'm grateful for my family at home, that they are okay. And I'm grateful for just living life. Everything that I have, I'm super thankful for that. Yeah, that's good. Do you prefer to write in a black or blue pen? Black. I used to like writing in um, blue. Mm. I feel like in, high, in primary school, I, was, I used to only write in blue. And then I don't know why did I change. Was there, was there a rule? Was there a rule in high school that you need to write in black? I feel like there was. Yeah, there was. Ne? And then, and yeah. Then could write in red. Yeah. You write in cursive. I write in both cursive and print. Mm. <laughs> coffee or tea? Coffee. But tea, I feel like I like drinking tea when I'm around other people. If it's like yeah. people are like, oh, let's make tea, then I'll drink it for the social oh, thing. I like, yeah, I like, I like drinking it for that reason. Even like back at home, my mm. grandmother used to love tea. Mm. So it was like a nice thing to drink tea with her. Yeah. So I'll drink tea if someone else wants me to drink it, but I prefer coffee. Mm, I love tea with lemon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh... I like rooibos. Actually, I once went to a rooibos farm. Oh. 
and we got a tour like i went there uh, for for work and we got a tour of the farm and we saw how they process it and make it into the tea bags and we got to taste the different rooibos tea it was quite a cool experience uh cats or dogs none i'm not into animals <laughs> <laughs> i mean sometimes i see really cute dogs Maybe I would like to play with a dog, but I don't want to own one for mm -hmm. sure. Cats even even worse. Even yeah, even worse. Love them from a distance. Or in pictures. In pictures. <laughs> <laughs> or a toy, like a stuffed. Animal. Yeah, like a stuffed animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, day or night. Day or night. Um, uh, night. night. Yeah, night for sure. My eye is a bit red. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Because I've been sleeping very late these days. Yeah. If 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 I could be asleep for a few hours during the day and be awake all night, I think that would be like I would really enjoy that. But life is not set up like that. So I can't. Night is for sleep. Yeah. That's all. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Thanks for asking me the questions, honey. Pleasure. and thank you for watching let me know what you think about this little video in the comments if you have any additional questions put them there and i'll answer them and i'll see you on my next upload which will be on monday don't forget to subscribe if you are not and press your notification button so you see every time i post a video and also like this video Thanks. I'm out.